Hey, hey, everybody, this is uh, the real big, for real, buffalo hunter Roy Hafen. Only took 23 years to dry out, but you know, some people are just luckier than others. We got the best guide in the world. We got JT guiding us. We got Chip here, and we're having a hell of a good time. We just hope we find some big buffs tomorrow. What do you say, Mr. Trey? Pretty good. Buffalo hunt of a lifetime? Yeah. What are we doing? Rain to camp. In the rain? In the rain. It was a little late getting into camp. Finally getting set up. We decided to do things a little different this year in spike camp. We're not at our normal buffalo camp. We'll see what the results produce that? in the morning. Well, this is day one of the big buffalo hunt. We're pretty excited. You know, we got the best guy in the state, and, and he guarantees me we're going to have a buffalo today. Anyway, we're pretty excited. It rained all night. I slept like a baby. Cried for an hour, slept for an hour. But anyway, it was pretty good. Uh, it's a beautiful morning. Oh, my word. And this country over here, I've never seen such beautiful country. There's Mustangs running around, and uh, we're ready to go and find one. Anyway, beautiful morning, and uh, we'll get you some pictures here in a little while. Big old buffalo ready to be mounted when, when we get out of here. <laughs> anyway, we want to thank all these guys. JT's got some great guys that help him, and just an awesome guy. And I'm gonna, I've already got two or three hunts lined up for him for next year. So we're going to we're gonna make good use of him. And if you know if it needs a buffalo, uh, to kill a buffalo, call JT, baby. He'll get it done. What do you think, mister? Is your dad ready for this? Oh. Are you ready for this? Maybe. We'll see. He gets bad buck fever. <laughs> I, I don't do know about buffalo. Either. I had a, I had a 390 or 400 black powder and told my wife. Come on. Come on, whiskey. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here, you film. All right. Oh! I'm pretty sure I got that. Tell the story. We just spotted our first bowl. It's a shooter bowl. It's just sitting up there waiting for us to go kill it. It's got a big sign that says shooting. Now. So we're going to go see if we can. It kind of spooked on us up the canyon a little bit. We're gonna sneak in, see if we can get on him up here over the point. Are you ready for this? Yeah, we're ready. Damn right. Are you ready? There's a sagebrush in front of it. If you got a shot, take him. Yes, he's getting he's getting up. He's getting up. He's getting up. 
There we go. Another one. Put it in. Okay, here we are, JT and my guide, my son. Listen, we just knocked down a, looks like a record buffalo. Toad. It's a record for Roy Hayford, I can tell you that. Toad. Anyway, it's a great one. Uh, oh my hell. You know, JT says, Roy, I'm more concerned about the weather than finding you a bull. And I went, oh my hell. I'm <laughs> but anyway, it's been a beautiful day, and we've had this herd. We, Got on three times and I just couldn't get a decent shot. And there were always something in the way. Anyway, we got him down up there. His head so up. We're gonna go up and get him. Oh my word, we're excited. <laughs> Life is good. Good job, guys. Oh my yeah. God. Okay, we're sitting here. The buffalo's down. It's taking how many? Six shots. Yeah, good six shots. shots. Dude, it's amazing how tough they are. And he don't want to die, but he. I think he might have just died. That's a heck of a buffalo, you guys. You got to, got to <laughs> anyway, JT, he was sure knows what he's talking about. This is, this is where we need to be this morning. Oh, look at that. You know what? Yeah. All right, boys, we're heading home. Good luck. Hey, we're just here, uh, just, we just got this big old buffalo, and uh, this is the end of th 23 years of putting in. Couldn't figure out why I didn't draw. I remember a year ago, we had a once in a lifetime, I was sure I drew it, and it was my daughter with the goat on, on beaver. We just got it mounted back. Anyway, so the fishing game says, Roy, if you got that many points, put in for the book clips. And uh, oh my word, I drew the tag. And then I didn't know what to do. I was so far away to come and scout. And I said, listen, I gotta find me the best outfitter in the state. Got a hold of JT right here. And he is just a stud guy, okay? And and he says, Roy, we'll get you a buffalo probably opening morning. What's today? Opening morning. Opening morning. Anyway, we had a whole herd here. And hell, I had a hell of a time trying to get on the right one. There was actually one maybe a little bit bigger, but he didn't want to die today. But this baby here, he had a big sign that said, shoot me. So. Anyway, we put, I think, was it six bullets in him, Chip? Six bullets. Anyway, we ran out of bullets. Anyway, it's been incredible. So, you know, we drove, and this is a, a place right in the middle of nowhere. You know, when you drive over here, it's just like nothing. We came yesterday and it rained all the day and and then we got in the camp last night to, to ride down here. Got it, and we loaded the horses, the mules, and it was raining and miserable and cold. And I'm thinking, holy crap. But our horses did really nice good, and JD had all these, well, I think we got, what, eight or nine total horses in here? Ten? Oh, yeah, probably close to ten. Probably ten of them. Anyway, they packed everything in last Seven. night in the rain, set up tents, set up camp, and he says, and I'm sure glad you're one of those guys that wants to be out here before daylight. He says, no reason to get up early. We had breakfast, sun was up, beautiful morning, <laughs> and he says, we're just going around this corner right up here and shoot you a buffalo. And, we, we scared up one by itself and come up the whole herd's here. The problem was to figure out which one to shoot. That was harder than figuring to, to shoot it. We're trying to figure out which one to shoot. But anyway, I think he might have been the second biggest. There might have been one bigger, but he's an awful, beautiful buffalo. Yes, he is. Anyway, JT, this is my guide. He's got all these guys. These guys are, he's got around him, are phenomenal. Good guys, and uh, they sure know what they're doing. Congrats. It's been a pleasure. Oh, absolutely. Now the fun begins, huh? Break him down and get him to the truck. Oh, yeah. yeah. What are we in here total? Can't wait. 14, 15 miles from the truck? Oh no, I looked down on the and I was like, holy cow. Anyway, pretty bull. Probably an eight or nine year old bull. That's but, a good uh, bull. Great bull. Wasn't his day to live today. Good work. Anyway, uh, we're good.